and your own thoughts? First of all, thank y'all for allowing me to make that on the agenda. That's why I have to go myself. And I know that uh, being on the school board, when people start speaking in public comments, you just sit there and take all the compliments that are thrown their way. And thank y'all for doing that. I did mine in writing so I could say it fast and get out. But I realized that when one takes a stand and the votes are cast, you wind up with two classes of people. One happy, one unhappy, and there's no way to get around that. Uh, I also realized that many of the times the lack of communication is what dictates the unhappiness. It's obvious there's a lot of assumptions and misconceptions going around with this idea. Some that I've heard personally are, why would the city finance a project for Jimmy Gosden to make money? The city is going to put a water park in Stoneview and Larry Smith reap all the benefits. The city is going to buy Oakdale Park, put a water park in there, and kill the idea of one on the highway. The city's going to pay too much for Oakdale. By the time they redo everything, there's no money left in the budget for anything else. But North Street cannot handle increased traffic issues, and they go on and on and on. And these are assumptions, misconceptions. They may be based on opinion, conversation, rumor. Some may have a mirror of truth. I don't know. But I just say before one gets all excited, upset, or assumes any more or what's going to happen, that we should hear what the Warby Tax Committee is proposing, give them an opportunity to explain their reasoning to us, and then if there's a concern, hopefully be heard at that time. If the 4B proposes the water park, I do not think it matters who will benefit other than the local citizens, tourists, businesses, hopefully all of Glen Road. If it's Larry Smith's property, Dodson's property, Odell Park, my property or your property should not matter. What is the best outcome when everything is considered? To begrudge someone having a benefit is a small mentality and should not be part of the equation. What is the best possible location and what is the cost to acquire property with take, without taking into account who owns the property? That would be a more beneficial way to look at it. There may have been some locations that have not even been considered yet. I would just like to ask everyone to keep an open mind Deal with common sense, common courtesy, balanced ideas, and work together to make one of all it can be and what it has the potential to become. If we all throw our personal agendas out and do not think what is best for me and mine, but what is best for everyone collectively, a common goal should be inevitable and attainable. Fighting one another does not do anything but divide. We have a lot of younger citizens interested in this and watching the way it's handled. I'm hopeful we can make a positive impression on them regardless of the outcome. When it's all said and done, the final decision will be made by those that have been entrusted to represent the citizens of Glen Rose by being elected as our city council and mayor. I'm confident they will make the best decision possible for all of Glen Rose. <laughs>